for every power series a0 plus a1z plus a2z square plus so on a n z raised to power n plus so on there exist a number r 0 is less than equal to r is less than equal to infinity called the radius of convergence with the following properties first is the series converges absolutely for every z with the modulus of z is less than r if 0 is less than equal to r uh, less than 0 is less than equal to rho is less than r convergence in uniform for z is less than equal to rho second is when इसके तीन केसेस होंगे पहला केस होगा मॉडुलस ऑफ जेड इज लेस देन आर और सेकंड केस होगा मॉडुलस ऑफ जेड इज ग्रेटर देन आर एंड थर्ड केस इज मॉडुलस ऑफ जेड इज लेस देन आर सो सेकंड केस मॉडुलस ऑफ जेड द टर्म्स ऑफ द सीरीज आर अनबाउंडेड एंड द सीरीज इज कंसिक्वेंटली डाइवर्जेंट एंड थर्ड इज मॉडुलस ऑफ जेड इज less than r the sum of the series is analytical function the derivative can be obtained by term by differentiation and the derived series has a same radius of convergence so proof so we shall show that the theorem in is true so we choose the r according to the formula 1 upon r is equal to limit n tends to infinity supremum of a modulus of a n raised to power 1 upon n this is equation 1 so the formula is known as the Hadmard's formula of the radius of convergence now first case modulus of z is less than r now there exist a row such that uh, uh, modulus of z uh, is less than rho is less than r um, which implies that uh, 1 upon more modulus uh, rho uh, 1 upon rho is greater than 1 upon r by the definition of the limits superior and uh, 1 there exists a positive integer um, n0 such that uh, modulus of a n raised to power 1 upon n is less than 1 upon rho or a n is equal to taking power n um, both sides 1 upon rho raised to power n 1 upon n is modulus 1 upon n is less than 1 upon rho raised to power n for all values of n is greater than equal to n0 it follows that uh, uh, modulus of uh, a n and z n z raised to power n is less than modulus of z upon rho whole raised to power n for large n but the series uh, sigma n varies sigma n varies 0 to infinity modulus of z upon rho whole raised to power n is a geometric series of uh, common ratio less than 1 since uh, mm, modulus of z is less than rho so consequently it converges uh, then by the comparison test uh, the series uh, sigma modulus of a n uh, z raised to power n also converges and enhance the power series sigma a n z raised to power n converges absolutely for the all z within modulus of z is less than r to prove the uniform convergence of uh, modulus of z is less than rho is less than r choosing rho dash such that rho is less than rho dash is less than infinity also 
वन वी हैव मॉडल्स ऑफ ए एन इज लेस देन इक्वल टू वन अपॉन रो एन फॉर एन इज ग्रेटर देन एन जीरो हैंस मॉडल्स ऑफ ए एन जेड रेस्ट वार एन इज लेस देन इक्वल टू जेड मॉडल्स ऑफ जेड अपॉन रो होल रेस्ट वार एन सो विच इज लेस देन इक्वल टू रो डैश अपॉन रो होल रेस्ट वार एन नाउ द सीरीज सिगमा रो डैश अपॉन रो ऑफ ए पॉजिटिव कॉन्स्टेंट इज कन्वर्जेंट बींग ए जोमेट्रिक सीरीज ऑफ कॉमन रेशो रो डैश अपॉन रो इज लेस दैन वन हैंस बाय द वेरी स्ट्रस एम टेस्ट द पावर सीरीज सिगमा ए एन जेड रेस्ट पावर एन कन्वर्ज इज यूनिफॉर्मली फॉर मॉडल्स ऑफ जेड इज लेस दैन रो इज लेस दैन आर Now second case, if uh, modulus of uh, Z is greater than R, we choose rho such that uh, R is less than rho is less than modulus of R. And then uh, one upon R is greater than one upon rho, since uh, one upon R is equal to limit uh, supremum of uh, one upon uh, uh, supremum of modulus of a n raised to power one upon n. It follows that uh, there are arbitrary large n such that uh, uh, modulus of uh, a n raised to power one upon n is greater than one upon rho, or modulus of a n is equal to one upon rho raised to power n. Consequently, modulus a n z raised to power n is greater than modulus of z upon rho uh, for whole raised to power n for a infinitely many n. Hence, uh, the term wise the series uh, are unbounded and accord accordingly the series is divergent. Now, third part uh, we will do in the next third part for uh, modulus of z is less than r. We shall write. Uh, f of z is equal to zero to infinity a n z raised to power n is equal to s n z plus r n z where s n z is equal to a zero plus a one z plus so on plus a n minus one z raised to power n minus one r n is equal to k varying from n to infinity a k z k and also f one z is equal to sigma one to infinity and um, a n z raised to power n minus one is equal to limit n times to infinity. S n dash z. We shall show that f dash z is equal to f one z. This we have to prove in the third portion that f dash z is equal to f one z. Now consider the identity f of z minus f of z zero upon z minus z zero minus f one z zero. Uh, which is equal to s n z plus r n z minus s n z zero minus r n z zero upon z minus z zero minus f one z zero Square bracket close bracket starts s n z zero minus s n z zero upon z minus z zero minus s n dash z zero square bracket close plus um, square bracket starts s n dash z zero minus f one z zero Uh, square bracket close plus uh, bracket starts r n z minus r n z zero upon z minus z zero bracket close. And this is equation two, where z is not equal to z zero and modulus of 
of z and z zero is less than uh, rho is less than r assumed uh, the last terms can be rewritten as sigma k varying from n to infinity a k bracket starts z raised to a k minus 1 plus z raised to a k minus 2 z 0 plus so on z raised to z into z 0 k raised to power minus 2 plus z 0 raised to a k minus 1 bracket close and uh, we conclude that uh, modulus of uh, r and z minus r and z zero upon z minus z zero is less than k varies from n to infinity k modulus of a k rho raised to power k minus one the expansion of the right uh, is the remainder term in a convergent series hence uh, we can find n zero such that uh, modulus of r n minus r n z zero upon z minus z zero modulus close uh, uh, less than epsilon upon three for n is greater than or equal to n zero equation three then there exists a positive integer n one such that uh, uh, s n dash z zero minus f one z zero Modul whole modulus uh, minus uh, is less than epsilon upon 3 for n is greater than or equal to n1 equation 4 let us choose the fixed n uh, is greater than n0 and n1 by the definition of uh, the derivatives uh, we can find that delta is greater than zero such uh, that uh, zero is less than modulus of z minus z zero is less than delta employs modulus of uh, sn minus uh, sn z zero uh, upon z minus z zero minus uh, uh, sn mm, sn dash z zero sn dash z0 uh, is less than epsilon plus 3 this is equation 5 now putting 3 4 and 5 in uh, equation 2 we get uh, uh, f of z minus f of z0 upon z minus z0 minus f1 z0 uh, less than Sn uh, z minus uh, modulus of uh, Sn uh, z minus Sn z zero upon z minus z zero minus Sn dash upon z zero modulus close plus uh, modulus starts uh, Sn dash z zero minus f one z zero um, modulus close plus uh, modulus starts uh, R n z minus R n z zero upon z minus z zero modulus uh, close is uh, less than epsilon plus 3 uh, plus epsilon plus 3 plus epsilon plus 3 so which implies f of uh, modulus starts uh, f of z minus f of z0 upon z minus z0 minus uh, f1 z0 um, modulus close uh, is less than epsilon when 0 is uh, less than modulus of z minus z0 is less than delta since epsilon is arbitrary so we so we have limit uh, square bracket starts f of z minus f of z zero upon z minus z zero minus f one z zero square bracket close is equal to zero so limit z ten to z zero f of z minus f of z zero upon z minus z zero is equal to f one z zero so which implies f dash z zero is equal to f one z Hence, uh, we have proved the Abel uh, theorem.